huge bombshell. He will quit from representative football. He will not be selected or put himself in a position to be selected for the New South Wales Blues this season. Now, he's an origin player through and through. Whether he would have been in the team or not, we don't know. But still, this is quite the announcement. Yeah, look, you'd be... You can be forgiven th for thinking Jack Whiten's going through a, a change of life moment with the, what's happening at the Raiders and now in Origin. He's making so many changes to his life, or at least it's appearing that way. Uh, it sort of indicates this things are uh, not uh, as we see them. Yeah, there's, mm. there's more going on than just uh, his foot, footy with the Raiders and his footy with the New South Wales. He's obviously a little bit out of source. We got him last year with New South mm. Wales. Uh, I think we've all sort of had that confirmed that that he put him off. Peeved, Kent. He yeah. when, um, he was man of the match mm. in Perth. Uh, got COVID for, or for the second game in Perth and, and was ignored for that last game. Yeah. So, so do you think that he's stepping down because he's pissed off that he didn't get picked no, for I'm game three last that. year? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying he was a little bit peeved, and yeah. I think it was one of the reasons why he was weighing it up. What I'm not looking forward to is the Maroons getting hold of this story and say. No Queenslander quits at 30. Typical, the New South Wales jumper doesn't. And they will. Of course they will. They'll use it. Well, you've given them the idea now, Buzz. Oh, well, it was an obvious one. It's Norville. But the problem... They don't quit at 30, no Queenslanders. No, no, but neither did New South Welshman. This is my point. Now, to me, there is something else to this. He's been thinking about this for a while, There's something else to this. Why would he... So he's not staying in Canberra for on big money. He's He's apparently willing to take less money to go elsewhere, and now he's stepping down from state of origin duties, which he is renowned for being an origin player and loving it. So what is going on? Like, there's, there's something going on I, here. I spoke to Mel today, and Mel said this has been on the grapevine for a while. Mel obviously had him on the Kangaroo Tour last year, where he was a pivotal part of the, that World Cup winning team. Um, you know, and Mel's obviously disappointed because he won't be available for Australia at the end of the year. And you're right, I think, I think everyone suspects, as Kendi alluded yeah. to, that Jack's obviously going through some sort of life change. Um, and if you listen to the grapevine, you know, the grapevine was right on the fact he's, he's stepped down from rep footy because we mm. had a story in the Sunday mm. Telegraph about it. Mm. Um, and the grapevine is he's leaving Canberra. And mm. it's, you know, they've offered him a huge deal. Um, and the Dolphins mm. are the club that everyone's talking about. And, yeah, and he'll go to the Dolphins. It's a significant change. You think he's going buzz? I think he's going to the Dolphins, I really do. And he's a more valuable player not playing State of Origin. There's that six-week period in the middle of the season where he'll mm. be available for the Dolphins, not getting bashed up in the, the heaviest body contact in the world sport, which but, is Origin. And the, and the other part too, it, like, it's not like he's throwing the, the toys out of the cot and just said, you know, he didn't pick me last year, I don't want to play. Yeah. But the other part to it is also, Braith, is when you're at that situation where he's playing a position where there's a lot of quality players in the same position, he was man of the match in, in the first game, missed the second through COVID, as mm. Bud said, and then, then got overlooked for the third. Yeah. For Sifatalakai, I think. For, yeah, yeah, for Sifatalakai, who, to be fair, was not a success, yeah. OK? And sometimes the, the emotional disappointment of... of yeah, oh, that, that, that's the tough that. bit. You know what I mean? That. The emotional disappointment of thinking, well, I'll come back in, and then yeah. you get crushed because you don't get picked mm. for what? It, yeah, for strange reasons. Yeah. I'll say yeah. that. And in the end, some blokes just go, you know, I, I just don't need this in, in my footy at this stage of my career. It can be stressful. I, you know, I don't disagree with that. Well, the one I mean, bloke we haven't heard from is Jack, and hopefully at some point soon we hear from Jack and. And he explains why he's yep. made this decision. OK, well, sticking with Origin, a lot of speculation now around who will play number six. Will it be Hines? Will it be Luai? Will it be Burton? Hines certainly wants it, and this is what he had to say after the game. I'd love to play 5-8 for New South Wales. Jerome is the incumbent. He's been there and he's done it. But I'll definitely put my hand up to play Origin and I'll be going for it. I'd love to wear the number six. I hate Queensland. <laughs> Queensland is the only thing I hate in life when origin Jeez. time is on. Strong comments from Nico, and I love him. I <laughs> love him that a New South Welshman is coming out and actually declaring that he hates Queensland. He's showing the passion. He's playing unbelievable footy. Is he in the box seat to get that number six jersey? Well, you'd have to ask Freddie or Brandy, and look, um, in my view, they should pick him. But Brandy and Freddie have made a, some mistakes in recent years, and whether I'm sure they watched that second half the other day, and look, he had Origin and his comments mm. written all over them. We haven't had anyone say they hate Queensland publicly since Paul Gallen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's and actually nice to hear that someone's actually is. genuine about. Yeah. 
given where the side was last year, where they weren't quite as passionate. You want to let's say that? I mean, he's, to me, he's... You know, well, mate, you're 5 last year on the play for Samoa. Like, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, but that's so, got so nothing to do with it. He played his junior football in Sydney in the oh, Western Suburbs. We go. <laughs> no, it's got nothing to do with it. The bottom line is you don't pick Jerome and Blue Eye because we lost the series yeah. last year. Mm. That's so loyalty goes out him. the window when you lose. That's that, that's a fact of life. You, you know, we all talk about origin loyalty. Well, you know what? If you lose a series, you don't get loyalty. You get loyalty by winning, winning games, winning series. They didn't win last year. And for me, Nick, Nico's got to be there on current form because he's playing better football than Jerome Luai. And they, have, and they lost last year. So they've got to win. And you win by picking the best players. And that showed last year when they didn't pick the best players. They made so, so many selection blunders last year. And it cost them, in the, cost them mm. the series in the end. So we've all got Nico Hines in the team the end, on this panel? Yeah, I'm happy with him. I, I don't, but do I, we think he will get picked? I don't think he will, no. I hope he does. You see, think they'll stick with Luai? I think they'll stick with Luai. I hope he does so Queensland pins those comments up on the, in the locker room. He, he, he just gives it to him. But it, it, Police is, Kafusi gives it to him. How good would that be? Smashes him. Pins those comments <laughs> on the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does that still work? <laughs> yeah. Does that still work? Do you, yeah, where, do you pin, where do you pin him? I'll put it on an iPad or something, don't yeah, you? Yeah, on, no, you're telling the story. You know it'll be back media. page of the Corey Mail come the... Well, uh, I think Nathan Cleary series. could have a lot to say. I mean, if you're the coach, of, if you're the you? coach of New South Wales, and I was actually talking to Matty Johns about it earlier, um, downstairs, and he, he agreed, or he says, suggested to me, that they should probably speak to Cleary and say, how do you want to play... But, but then again, does that give bias well, to Luai? Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. It's his, it's his teammate at club level. And, and you're more than likely going to have Happy Coruscant there at mm. Dummy Half as well, who, although he's not a penner now, he was a penner for some years. So they'll be, the New South Wales selectors will be looking at that. There's some story There's if no he's... selectors, say, like Kenny. It's just Brandy and it's oh, that's Freddie, who I was referring to. Right? <laughs> and their jobs are on the line. It yeah. doesn't matter what anyone says. Well, their jobs are on the line. That upsets them when you say that, so be careful. Be well, some story if he says, I've gone to uh, um, Nathan Cleary and asked him who should be six. Yeah, he said, oh, well, you, no, you, you, you do it personally. <laughs> you, you do it personally. You, you, oh, that, and that wouldn't get out? No, you'd privately, sorry. So you do, you do it. Well, it get shouldn't. Out? It shouldn't. Please. Why would that? That should never get out. If, if the he... coach is talking to the key player in the team, it, it should never get out. Who he wants to play with, or and, how he and wants also to play. In past years, with with you know, like when Gould was Origin coach, he was very, very, very specific sometimes in getting teammates to call out opposition, like their club teammates who are playing mm. for Queensland, mm. and basically saying, right, where is he? Where is his weaknesses, and where mm. should we attack? And and getting those guys on board, because and which built that environment within New South Wales that this is not club footy, well, this I, is something else. I know when Joey had he's time in origin when he was owning the side he had a huge say on who was in the team with him what combinations he wanted yeah. and how because he, he was he was in control of the ch chessboard i mean yeah. he, you know so he, he you want to have your key but playmaker the, how far did nico hines win the dally m's last year how good did he play you know you can't overlook form we've lost two of the last three series breaks we'll find out Buzz. you've got we'll to find pick out in a few the weeks. best footballers we didn't do it last year we left campbell gillard out and he Starred for the Kangaroos at the World Cup. We left Josh Adokar out, who was almost the player of the tournament. We've spoken about White, and we've got to pick our best football side this year. 